Hey guys, I'm Agan Angie with Backyard Shooting, and Backyard Shooting is all about testing all kinds of guns, and generally I'll be in my own backyard, but who knows whose backyard I'll be in. Don't get up and go check yours. Give me time to get away first. But today we're going to do an overview, review, whatever you want to call it, on the Umarek Zelos in 22 cal. Yes, I said Zelos because that's the way Umarek says it, I'm pretty sure. The rest of us say Zealous. So should Umarex change for us or should we change for Umarex? I don't know, that's a really good question, but right now we're gonna focus on this. All right guys, so first up is aesthetics. From butt to muzzle. The Zelos is a bullpup PCP with a total length of 36 inches. You might think that means you'll have a shorter barrel, but nope, Umarex gave it 26 inches of rifled and shrouded barrel for a higher velocity and great accuracy. The total weight without an optic is 6.95 pounds. The rubber butt pad is adjustable for height and the length of pull is an average length of pull of 14.75 inches. So they have the um, magazine and this is a high capacity magazine. In 22 it's got 20 shots, in 25 it's got 18 shots. But it, it is located in the back of the air gun, kind of in the stock. The reason because it has the 26 inch barrel, so that's where the barrel ends is where the mag is kept. So you load your 20 shot or 18 shot mag, depending on what caliber you have in the back of the magazine. And um, moving forward, you will find the side lever cocking handle on the right side of the gun, which is how you will load your mag. You'll have to pull that back to get the pellet pusher out of the way and then insert the mag. That has magnets on the top of it to keep it from falling out or wiggling um, out of place. Below the side lever cocking handle is the safety and it's kind of a paddle safety push forward for um, safe pullback for fire. Below that is the two-stage adjustable trigger and it has a AR style pistol grip. On the left side of the gun you'll find the regulator gauge. Yes, this is regulated and another cool thing about the regulator is it's adjustable. So to increase it there is a screw right here behind the barrel band that you would adjust to increase it. To decrease it, make sure you degas the gun. Don't decrease the regulator without degassing the gun first. Um, and I suggest you have a chronograph for this entire testing and adjusting of the regulator. Moving forward from the action and the pistol grip, we have the air cylinder that fills to 3,625 PSI or 250 bar. On the air cylinder, there is an accessories pick rail where you can mount a bipod or flashlight, whatever accessory you'd like, but it, it's adjustable. You can move it forward or back to whatever position you want it. Then in front of that, you'll find the pressure gauge. And in front of the pressure gauge, which the pressure gauge is on the side of the barrel, which is kind of nice. A lot of them are on the end, so you kind of have to look down the barrel while you're filling the tank. But this one's on the side, and then you pull this end cap off, and you've got a regular male Foster quick disconnect fitting. So no need for extra accessories like probes, so that's cool. On top of the air cylinder, you'll find the barrel, which we already said is 26 inches. It's shrouded, it's rifled um, for accuracy. It also has the half by 20 UNF, so you can attach a moderator to it and quiet it down some. We will go over the backyard friendliness in just a minute. So on top of the gun, you'll find the 21 slot pick rail for whatever optic you choose to put on. I have a Hawk, of course. This is the Hawk Vantage 30, um, first focal plane, 4 to 16 by 50. And guys, that's going to be pretty much it for aesthetics. On to operation. Of course, you mount your scope because this does not come with open sights. Next, it's a PCP. We're going to need some air. So we're going to take off the end cap and fill it to 3625 PSI or 250 bar. Once you get it filled, you're going to have to detach your fill source. Then replace the end cap. And after that, let's load the mag. Now this mag is a lot like a lot of the other Umarex mags. You gotta flip it around and put the skirt in first and then, then you can turn the top cover and load the rest of them. 20 pellets, guys, it's a lot of pellets. After that, you're gonna pull the side lever cocking handle back, insert your mag into the breech, push the cocking handle forward, take aim first, then disengage the safety. 
pull the trigger. Before we go to 50 yards, I want to see how this does from full to empty, what kind of shot placement we're going to get and what kind of velocity. So full to empty up first. While I'm testing from full to empty, let's talk about numbers. So shot one, I got 900 feet per second. And then halfway through, hopefully I'm there by now. Halfway through, I got 871 feet per second. Shot 40, I got 890 feet per second. That's an extreme spread of 30 feet per second and a standard deviation of 7.8. Over 40 shots, that's pretty decent, guys. Um, 7.8 standard deviation over 40 shots, sweet. And let's not forget about the foot-pounds of energy. That's about 31.3 foot-pounds of energy with an average of 881 feet per second. So over a little over 30 foot-pounds of energy with a 22 caliber PCP. Shoot you, I'll take that. That was not a bad group at all for a full to empty 40 shots right there. A little bit of a POI change in there, but that's 40 shots right there, pretty much in the same place. So let's go ahead and move on to the 50 yard testing of the favorite pellets, which are JTS dead center 1813s, AEA's, AEA 15s, and the JSB 15s. Gonna do two five shot groups. I'm gonna shoot the same target with the um, fold empty on it. And here we go. I'm a little high and left. That was pretty good. Um, my point of impact's a little high, so I'm going to, for the next five shot group, I'm going to bring it down. All right, here we go. Target on the right. And these other ones are the AEAs. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move down to the bottom and see how the AEAs do. Where did that even hit? Oh, they're really left. Not bad, but really left. Okay. So I am going to adjust. Bring it over two mil dots. Oh, that wasn't great. <laughs> yeah, no. Second shot group. Well, that was six over there, so... We'll just shoot the rest out of here and see how they do so far. Not good. Not good at all. I'm not expecting much different, so... Well, of course! The last three shot, great! Alright, so guys, I'm wearing a different shirt. I'm pretty sure, yes. And it is a different day. I went to go through my footage from the last video and the target camera shut off with the last group with the JSB 15 so I'm gonna reshoot it I do have the proof on paper 
but I want to film it. So I'm going to reshoot it um, and hopefully we get the same results because they were pretty, they were decent last time. And that was a little high. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and drop my back down to the crosshair, center crosshair. Change of aim. Wait just a second, the wind is picked up. Actually would normally have a sweater on and a hoodie or something. It is it is kind of chilly out here right now. Alright. Eh. That's five. Not terrible, but not the greatest. Okay, let's move to the next bowl. This is two, two five-shot groups. There we go. There we go. Similar to the results I got last time, but this time you got to see it um, on camera. So, all right, I've got some other work to do, guys. Let me get back to it. At 50 yards, I tested, like I said, the JTS, AEA, and the JSB. And the JTS, they gave me a beautiful all hole-in-one shot group, five shots. The second group was a little more spread out, so a little confused there. Um, AEA, terrible, absolutely terrible. I would not recommend those for this one at 50 yards. Unless, unless, I haven't told you guys this yet, but this is completely tunable. You can adjust the regulator. You can adjust the hammer spring. Maybe with a little bit of a tune, the AEAs would be perfect. I don't know, haven't gotten that far in testing yet. But as it is out of the box, my Zelos at 50 yards does not like the AEA. At 25, it's fine, but at 50, no. And then JSB, JSB, I think JSB was not, they didn't have the tightest group. It wasn't bad, I mean, those pretty sweet group. I think their groups were more consistent than the JTS. So. JSB, JTS, I might call it just about a tie. I'd have to get out there and do some more shooting and maybe see if one would beat the other one out. But as, na as of now, JTS 18s, JSB 15s, those two are the best pellets that I've tested so far in the Zelos at 50 yards. Well, let's talk about um, backyard friendliness. Is this guy backyard friendly. Well, I know it is in my backyard, but it really does depend on where yours is. At the muzzle, the dB meter reading was 98.6 and 99. So that's like right here in front of the muzzle. Then from my perspective, that's the shooter's perspective, I got 93.4 and 94. And then from the neighbor's perspective, because hopefully your neighbors aren't just 20 yards away, but maybe they are. From the neighbor's perspective at 20 yards, I got 87.2 and 86. So Absolutely is backyard friendly, of course, depending on where your backyard is. All right, guys, last and final test and probably the funnest one, offhand. Let's see how we, yes, me and the Zelos do offhand. Smack dead center. Oh, I missed that one. Missed it. There we go. On to the smaller babies. Nice. Oh, I missed that one. I missed that one. Oh. have to give it up.
Oh, I nicked it. Does that count? I don't know if I should even try the bigger, the tiniest one. Oh. One more at the tiniest one if I don't get it. Yeah. Oh, right beside it. So offhand, oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I did uh, right by that tiniest um, target on the bullfrog targets. I almost got it. I didn't want to bore you guys with continual misses, so I gave up. But I, I'm pretty sure if I kept at it, I would get it. It was definitely a good offhand gun. Very comfortable, easy to handle. Um, cocking lever is in a perfect spot. A lot of bull pups, you have it way back here, and it just makes it awkward when you're trying to shoot it and cock it. This one is up here by the action. Perfectly comfortable shooter. I mean, it's adjustable in many different ways. The reg, the hammer spring, the um, butt pad, the trigger, the accessories rail. You can put a moderator on it to quiet it down some. So at, if it is as is not backyard friendly for you, you can certainly change that with a moderator and make it backyard friendly for you. I'm not done with this guys. There's going to be more and, and probably, probably a little secret. It's not going to be secret after this. This guy's going to go in the woods and we're going to try to take some squirrels with it. So we will keep you posted on that and hopefully that video will be coming out soon. But guys, that's going to be it for the Umarex Zelos in 22. Maybe I'll get to test the 25. Maybe. 25 is my favorite caliber but that's it for the 22 i'm a gun angie with backyard shooting thank you guys so much for watching y'all don't just have a good day have an awesome one see ya the rubber pad the rubber pad the rubber my lips are sticking together